Poopy's first bath. Oh, look at the china. Oh, that's so warm. I got some warm. Oh, that's a good girl. Good girl, baby. Got some nice warm. It's so warmy. Hmm. Warm tap water. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Lucia. Good girl, baby. A good girl. A good girl. Now I'm just using some very mild um, soap. So. It's a good girl, Lucina. It's a good girl. Let's see if I can get. So I'm going to take her to get her ears cropped today. I take her to Houston. Um, and the reason I'm getting them, let me turn her to you. The reason I'm getting them cropped is not just for, oop, 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 baby girl, baby girl. The reason I'm getting cropped is uh, because it reduces the risk of them getting torn off when they're sparring with the big, you know, when the big dogs spar. You've seen how, you've seen how rough those dogs play. Okay, baby. So, um, I have heard stories of people's Corso's ears getting really ripped, lacerated, uh, that when they weren't cropped. Because when the dogs spar, you'll see it, they go for anything that's out, you know, that that's kind of like that they can grab onto. And case in point, when, um, case in point is uh, one of my dogs ripped not the corsos, but the pit bull mix ripped the ear clear off, clean off of a goat. When I took him to a farm once, good girl, baby, good girl. So, um, it's definitely a risk. It's definitely, definitely a risk. Um, and so, I'd rather have it done under anesthesia, where it's controlled and the. The puppy can be on pain meds and uh, antibiotics. And and they heal very, very quickly. They heal they heal in about two weeks. Um, and then that's it. And it's, it's virtually a, a very, um, it's a pretty non-invasive process. And um, now people, I understand it's a very contentious topic and people are gonna say it's cruel, but I will, Ask you this: What about circumcision of male infants? I mean, that, that's just as invasive, and um, and I don't even know if that's done under anesthesia or not. But but anyways, uh, there's my good girl, the good girl Lucia. So oh, that's nice. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Is that warm? The good girl. So, um, and then the other thing is a spay and a neuter. That's another surgery that, you know, you could argue that it's, it's necessary, but I look at the ear crop about, you know, the same as I do a spay and a neuter. It's a surgery that's very minimally invasive, if, if at all, and with a very, a very quick uh, healing time. And when the puppy's younger, the ears there are very, very thin, and that's why it's not recommended to do an ear crop over 12 weeks old because the cartilage starts to mature um, at that time. But right now, it's just very, very thin skin, and so very, um, very, very minimal pain and uh, very uh, quick turnaround uh, healing time. Good girl, baby. It's a girl. It's a girl. I I get that. Good girl, Lucia. Good girl. It's a girl, honey. 
So yeah, um, I'm bathing her so she's nice and clean for her surgery as well. Take that drain out. She's doing very well for her first bath. Now the breeder has bathed her before, so this isn't technically her first bath. It's just with me. I got a nice big kitchen sink there. Um, good kid, baby girl. So good kid. Make that feel good. And uh, and before you, if you do an ear crop, you want to make sure that they're they're not sick. Uh, she's very playful. She's not sneezing or coughing. She's got a very healthy appetite, so she's good to go for her surgery. She should be nice and clean. It's about a three-hour drive for me to Houston. Um, the place that I take her, they specialize in ear crop, and they have uh, years and years and years of experience, so they're one of the best. I just lucky because it happens to be near me. Um, in fact, my, the breeder that I used out of Louisiana is where she took them to, where she took hers. People drive from all out of state to go to this particular one. And, uh, and, it, and it actually happens to be the cheapest, so that's an extra bonus. So anyways, um, just want to update y'all on that. People, I know, are wondering if I'm going to crop the ears. But yeah, for me, my, the reason I crop the ears again is, is more for uh, to reduce the risk of injury. I don't know if y'all remember that huge, that deep laceration that Dolce, my female kind of horse got, just from sparring with Ozzy. So they definitely are, are very prone to injury just when playing. I mean, that's not even if, it's, if there's a dog fight. So just from playing, they're, they're liable to get their ear severely ripped. Um, and I want to prevent that, and that's, that's why I do the ear crop on my Corso. If you only have one Corso, I guess it's really uh, uh, much less risk because they're not going to be sparring like that. And then another other dog. Ooh, baby girl. What was it? What was it? And other dog breeds like Labrador, for example. That you don't see those ear crops because those dogs don't play rough like that. They really don't. Pit bulls and corso. And um, pit bull, corso, dogo argentino. You know, the very dominant uh, guardian type breeds. Those dogs play super rough, you know, that they sustain injury just from playing. It's just like a, an everyday thing for them. Good girl, baby. Good girl. I'm trying not to get any water in her ears. That's very important because they can get an ear infection. So I'm avoiding her ears and I'm going to um, I'm gonna dry her ears very well inside when she's done. Good girl. I'll say that was a good girl. That was a good girl, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, yes, my baby girl. Yes, my baby girl. Okay, all day. All day. Good girl, baby. Make sure she doesn't get an infection. This infection there. Okay, baby girl. All day. Good girl, baby. Say good girl, baby. Yeah, the good girl. Yeah, the good girl. Good girl. All done, honey. See, all done. That was a good girl. <laughs> oh, your baby girl. Make sure I dry in her ears really well. And got, I'll take a paper towel also just to make sure it's extra dry inside her ears. Good girl, baby girl. Make sure I get the undercarriage, her, her belly. Really nice and dry. Okay, 
was a good girl, honey. Oh, she's shaking just a little bit. We'll put her, we'll put her under the down comforter. Make sure she's nice and warm. Yeah, and then on the car ride, I'm gonna have the heater on. So anyway, hope you all are having a good day and I will do another video um, after she's got her ear crop. And then I'll show y'all how I take care of it. Um, so this particular ear crop, they're very, uh, I mean, they're experts on um, ear, ear uh, maintenance. They even fix botched ear crops, but they recommend to come back and visit every three days. So they assess the ears every three days and then they retape as necessary. And if you see Dolce's ears are absolutely perfect. So that's where I got Dolce's ears done. The breeder actually got Ozzy's done before I picked him up. So he also has the same ear crop. Um, and the style that it is, it's the, it's the, uh, I think it's called the bell, like a, short, a medium bell or something like that. I'll let y'all know. I'll, I'll, I'll put that in the next video. But yeah, anyways, hope y'all having a good day and we'll talk to you later. Say hey, bye, baby girl. Bye, y'all. Good girl. Good girl.